So, um, my name is Egils and I live in the Lighthouse Retreat Center. I've been here from the very beginning of the place, did even some painting and decorating before the opening. So, uh, so yeah, I've been. I came to England, I'm originally from Latvia, uh, came in 2005, and this place we got in 2005, and so then there was a need to help, and so I, I uh, eventually. And if you remember Daddy Junkie, uh, one of our elderly daddies uh, from the Bramach Marsh, she's passed away a couple of years ago now, but uh, she was uh, the main one who started the whole Bramach Marsh, uh, you know, service outside India, and so, so she was the one who said, "You stay here." So, <laughs> so that's how I ended up. Uh, Staying. Jasmine, she was uh, uh, even before with Joyce. If you remember Joyce, there was another uh, elderly sister. She she had Parkinson's, but she passed away a couple of years ago. So, yeah, and so we've had the uh, plan to do something slightly different to maybe meditation, uh, because uh, food is also a big part of life, and uh, we try to promote healthy lifestyle. To be, you know, healthy in your mind, body, and soul. So uh, that's why this program uh, I sort of uh, suggested we call not just about food. It's not only about food, uh, but food is a big part of uh, healthy way of living and healthy lifestyle. And so I've been on this journey. I mean, I was always quite healthy and uh, sport oriented, always did some outdoor activities uh, in my life, uh, but then when I moved into this place, because there is no garden and there is uh, all the activities, cooking and uh, office and cleaning, whatever we do is all inside, so I, for five, six years, uh, didn't really do too much outside activities and too much puddings and too much uh, foods, uh, which are maybe not the healthiest. Even vegetarian food could be really uh, making you not in the best shape. And so also when you get a bit older, when you start going towards 40 and over, then your metabolism slows down. And I mean, you probably know for yourselves if you start. And that's when you really need to look uh, after yourself and, and need to think uh, what's going on, what you're doing in life. So that's when I started my journey. So I started to explore, uh, you know, what's uh, possible, how to improve my uh, lifestyle uh, along with the spiritual lifestyle I've been leading for a long time. And uh, there is so much uh, out, you know, because of the internet now we can become uh, so wise. But there is also the other side is that there is so much of this stuff that you can get lost. And many people get lost, they really don't know what's, uh, what is what. Because everyone, you know, everyone will tell you something. Uh, you know, I see even people I know, they, someone comes, tells something, then the next day they do it, you know. Not even questioning uh, what is the basis of these uh, suggestions. So that's why when I look at the things about health and lifestyle, I try to see science peer-reviewed uh, basis of all these, uh, you know, suggestions. And there is a lot of uh, films made, uh, you might have seen some, but obviously not a, not a lot of these things are mainstream, so you have to look for them. And I was actually surprised that yesterday when we had uh, people who came, sometimes you think, well, everyone must know these things because it's all open for anyone to listen and learn, but actually many people don't. Uh, so that's why I was thinking it's quite good to share because it's based on my personal experience for 10 years and it's based on lots of uh, research done by uh, doctors and uh, scientists and peer-reviewed science, not just uh, uh, someone wrote an article, published it and it sounds uh, very convincing, which many people like, uh, uh, for instance, coconut fat People, you know, some people think it's some kind of miracle food. Even, uh, you know, people, vegetarians, they think, oh, coconut, you need to eat coconut fat. But actually the science peer-reviewed uh, research is that 
they even are wondering how on earth coconut fat is still legal to be on the shelves in the shop. Forget about health benefits, actually it's so dangerous to the body. But obviously that's uh, what I've been researching and, and watching from science reviewed, uh, peer reviewed uh, research. Uh, obviously, many people will argue and will tell me that, you know, that's... Uh, but, you see, anyone can write anything you want. Uh, I can write a nice article and uh, sign, you know, Dr. Eggels and, and people, you know, because the internet is full of uh, lots of... They say nine news, nine articles is uh, fake or untrue, uh, not, uh, not true information. But what we can uh, look at the, uh, this program is that you know, we all have some health issues. I guess you have probably some uh, health health issues. Uh, each one has, but uh, <clears throat> really we shouldn't have any. Uh, the human body is a miraculous machine. That's the biggest, uh, the most amazing uh, thing about uh, our bodies. If you compared the electrical system of our body with any electrical system of any supercomputer on the planet which you know operates uh, these uh, satellites and uh, Tesla and uh, Elon Musk and all these people who are you know high high tech people with all these super Google and all these supercomputers are like baby's toy the electrical system in those supercomputers is like baby's toy in comparison to the way the body's electrical system is functioning Humans, we have no clue, we still have no full understanding how these bodies are functioning. But the miraculous thing is that uh, we have blood, for instance. The blood is flowing hundreds of miles passageways uh, every 33, 45 seconds. It goes around uh, the body systems at the same time carrying the nutrients and food and at the same time disposing the waste at the same given time. This is like, a, if you really think, most of us do not actually think about anything. We just live in the body, you know, we have some a leg is aching or something, you know, something is, some flu you have, you take some tablets. We don't think really much about the miracle of this body we, 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 we have. And uh, so, that's why, like, uh, if you cut finger or anything, you, you have some problem, you know, some, something is you hurt or uh, some scratch. Uh, who heals? Who heals that scratch? Who heals uh, the cut of your finger? Yeah, you might put some cream, you might put some plaster on, but who is actually doing the healing? It's the body itself. No doctor, no cream, nothing is actually healing. It's, it's the body itself. The body has inbuilt mechanism, ingenious mechanism of healing itself. And to maintain this body in the best healthy uh, state. That's why I was saying there is no reason why we are un un unwell. But there is one reason, which is the biggest reason what, when I started talking about uh, coconut fat. Uh, it's the reason of the fuel. Do you, do you own a car? Yes. So now if you give me your car keys, if I tell you to give me your car keys, and I'll go and fill your car, if you've got a petrol car, and you? Petrol. Okay, I've got diesel. I've got two cans of diesel in the garage. If you, I ask you to give me your car keys and I'll go and fill up your tank with diesel, you will no way, you say, you will damage my car, you'll damage my car. The engine will, will break if, if you put diesel in, in the petrol car. Now, if you go to fly somewhere to India or, you know, some nice uh, holiday in Spain, you go to, you know, Gatwick Airport and now they say we are cutting costs, uh, now we are actually you know, we don't, it's very expensive. The aeroplane uh, fuel, the high octane fuel is very expensive. We will try to fly you 
today, uh, you know, with the normal pet 95 petrol from, from us, the petrol station, because, you know, we don't have anything else. You will pack your bag and you rush away. You will not you will not board that plane because you know that you know to put uh, 95 in an aeroplane is not gonna get you anywhere you might uh, crash but what happens with these miraculous machines this machine which is so complex which even the, the biggest scientists still haven't uh, understood the way the body operates you know we think the medicine is advanced but the medicine has no clue for really this is a complex complex uh, uh, a ecosystem you know we, we go to the doctor and you, you go to the eye specialist or you go to the knee specialist uh, you know sometimes we so uh, com 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 compartmentalize, compartmentalize uh, the, the body thinking that you know I need uh, these uh, bones yes. I need a bone scan and I need that uh, specialist that specialist but actually the body is one whole if you've got issues in one area, it's actually the whole ecosystem is of, of affected. It's not that just the eyes are getting less uh, vision. Actually, if any body part is uh, getting some problem, it means your whole health as a whole is actually going down. So to, to heal uh, any part of your body, is not to heal, uh, you know, eyes or kidney or or some part. It's actually to heal the whole ecosystem of your body, your mind, your blood, your your, your whole body. And uh, so, so the aspect of the fuel is most most important. Obviously, there are other aspects. That's why food and soul. I I want also to touch some aspects about uh, the this soul aspect because that's uh, even more affects us but if you put wrong fuel you cannot expect the machine to run smoothly for a long time when you are young yes maybe for some time we were i mean i think when i grew up there were no junk food i ha actually in my life have never eaten fast food never i've never had because i grew up in soviet times when latvia was under the uh, soviet rule there were no Kentucky Fried Chicken, there, were, there was no McDonald's. It was all very simple life, uh, like uh, Fee is saying they, in Kenya they had like simple, you know, you go to grocery shop, it was all loose, uh, you know, from weight. You had to weigh things, there was a big chunk of butter, they cut, they uh, give you, it was nothing, it was like this, very simple. And uh, now, why the whole world, a lot of people are really sick, a lot of people, even in the Western countries, uh, Britain, America, even the new, you know, the China, everyone is catching up. It's mainly due to the fuel we consume. And uh, there is obviously some, uh, again, it's like a business because what, <laughs> you know, the ones who give you unhealthy foods, they also produce uh, drugs. And that's why there is a saying that, uh, uh, you know, there is no business if you are healthy. You don't give many business, you know, you don't need tablets, you don't need, you know, the, you, there, there is no money in you. If you are dead, also there is no money because, uh, the, you know, you are not there anymore. But if you are neither this nor that, neither dead nor healthy, it's a big business because uh, if you need tablets, you know, most people need, uh, and they take all these, this and that, and, and then you need tablet for that tablet. Uh, you know, you know what it means. It's like 20, 30, all kinds of whole bags of things people take, go to hospitals. So there's big business. So that's why this fuel, people are not being educated because it's a big business for some people who earn millions and billions uh, on people's ill health. But... Uh, you don't have to be in that camp. We, we can all uh, be in the camp where you don't need all of that. And it's very, very quick, very quick. You know, when people come, uh, I know some uh, friends, uh, lots of people have diabetes, even people vegetarians. Uh, you know, I, we have lots of uh, Indian background uh, students in this Brahma Kumaris from London, young women, young men. Uh, not uh, like in 20s, but uh, maybe in 50s, 60s, you know, they sort of hardly walk, you know, they need stair lift. 
this is not normal. It's not normal. You, you, you know, you should be going strong, climbing Mount Kilimanjaro even when you are 90 and 100. Oh I tell you, you know, people, there are people and tribes who live in, uh, like, uh, there was one uh, book about uh, Hun, Hunza Valley, Hunza tribe, you know, they live in, uh, you know, mountains in, and they climb up to long age, you know, 120, 130 years of uh, age, and they are strong, and they climb and drink, but it's all again to the lifestyle and what fuel we feed these uh, miraculous machines. That's why, uh, you know, I was uh, just mentioning about the fuel, how important, if you have a car, you maybe don't have a car, but uh, uh, the ladies have car, and I said, if I put diesel in your petrol car, you will never give me car keys uh, to do that because uh, I will damage the engine. But we put such fuel, which is not suitable for this miraculous machine. So you know when you have a petrol car, when you open the tank, there is a, uh, only, so there's some label, only this uh, fuel suitable. We should have big label sticking out. <laughs> only, only whole plants, uh, f fruits and vegetables and grains and legumes suitable for this machine and this has been uh, proven by thousands of years actually this science peer-reviewed science one is uh, you know some scientists they peer-reviewed means lots of scientists have looked at the research and they have agreed that that's uh, true information but there is another science which is just showing the history of what people have been eating for thousands of years and yesterday I did mention uh, about uh, some excavation in Turkey a couple of years ago where they found 300 gladiator uh, remains. And so they examined what they were eating, what was their diet when they were living. So they took their bones, they had to saw the bones with an electric saw because the bones were so strong. And then with the, there are some technologies how they can examine what's the uh, content of this uh, bone and what uh, would have been the food, the fuel, what they were eating. And actually, most people will be surprised. Men especially will be surprised that gladiators were mainly barley and bean munchers. That was the, they had this uh, like a nickname bean and barley munchers. They were eating beans and barley. That was like one of the main staples. They were not eating meat. And it's not because they would not be able to have meat, because the people who owned them, they had lots of money and it was big business, you know, these gladiator fights. But because of the uh, plant food, like these beans and barley, uh, like plant-based uh, grains, they would make their bones strong. Up to now in the grave you still have a need a saw to cut this, these bones. Now people's bones are so brittle, uh, some even break while uh, sleeping in the bed. You don't even need to fall. Some people turn in a wrong way, you know, ladies especially have lots of elderly people, have lots of osteoporosis. There's nothing, it's like a sponge, you know, hardly any substance left. Why is it like that? The thing is, again, the body is such a miraculous machine. If you put wrong fuel, the body has to do something to keep you going. It has to do something. And uh, it's been uh, already shown in so many cases. Uh, in Norway, during the uh, Second World War, when Nazis occupied Norway, they took all the livestock, all the meat and dairy for the, not for the uh, German army. People were just left with some bread and some, uh, some grains or some, some vegetables or something. There is statistics that all this heart disease, everything dropped like a stone. It dropped hardly any heart disease. Now, once the war was over and the livestock came back and uh, people's uh, plates became as before, all these issues uh, come back. Mm -hmm. wow. So there is a lot of uh, this uh, showing how the countries which have the most dairy consumption, and I 
that's what I want to say. I don't intend to make you become vegans or some whatever, you know. I'm just looking at food as a fuel and it has nothing to do vegan, vegetarian. It's what fuel is meant for this miraculous machine, which will make you perform the best, which will get rid of all your ailments and problems, which will make you really healthy like a gladiator, that you will be able to go every morning and, and be happy and, and sort of fight for your happiness uh, and be, be joyful every day, every moment. So, so the food is a big, big, big uh, aspect in, in this uh, whole concept. And one of the main things is the, is the fat. Fat is the biggest uh, culprit. It's the biggest, you know, the diabetes. It's not the fat uh, disease. It's, it, no, it's not the sugar disease. People will say, oh, you know, sugar, you shouldn't eat sugar, you shouldn't eat anything, uh, you know, carbohydrates. Most, even cancer, uh, diabetes, uh, you know, heart disease, all, all these uh, illnesses, even lots of autoimmune diseases are caused because of the wrong fuel people put in their bodies. And mainly it's high fat food and high fat food will come under anything. And that's why I'm saying it's not something I want to convert you into something. But unfortunately, any dairy any uh, meat, fish or eggs, uh, it will have a lot of fat and it has no fiber. It has no fiber. You know, there is a book, amazing book, uh, you can probably still get it somewhere uh, online. It's uh, written by Dr. Dennis Burkitt. Don't forget fiber in your diet. He's very funny. I watched uh, some of his interview on YouTube. He said in Africa, he was doctor and was uh, posted in Africa for a long time. He said in Africa, they have big stools and no hospitals. In the West, very small stools, massive hospitals. <laughs> because it's the wrong fuel. The body needs the fiber. The fiber, uh, it's uh, now so much information about our gut and how you need the proper microbiome, uh, the, the gut flora. You know how much millions and billions of, uh, my, you think you know I'm like this, but you have so much people, things living in you. We are an army, what's inside us, you know. It's, uh, you think you are just by yourself. No, you have lots of friends there. But you want good friends, you want good stuff there, so that you go to bathroom every day. And this is a, seems like a un, un, maybe strange subject, but actually this is the, the sign of good health and good proper fuel. Because fiber will only have fruits, vegetables, grains and legumes, nothing else. Dairy, fats, uh, any animal products have no, no fiber. So that's like putting this uh, wrong fuel in the aeroplane and trying to uh, fly to somewhere on holidays and you might not even reach halfway. So that's why, th now why uh, I was thinking to show some recipes because you are so much tempted. You go to supermarket, there is so much uh, on offer and all kinds of prepared foods and uh, packaged foods. Uh, most things which are combined already, something cooked or prepared, like, you know, you just put in microwave, most of them will have very, very high fat content. The only thing which does not have high fat is just pure fruits and vegetables and grains and legumes. So you need to really learn to cook yourself. Uh, if you want to be healthy and vibrant and strong, and this uh, is in your hands, I mean, Obviously, many people will not want. I mean, it's, it's sometimes you think even... It, well, that's where the mind, that's where the second part about the soul comes. Because even sometimes people who you would think, why you wouldn't want to be healthy? You know, my dad, he's been unwell for 40, 50 years. I mean, he's been having... He's a hunter, you know. He always liked to hunt animals and eat uh, all this stuff and ducks and... Uh, 
it's a shame, you know, but then he suffers himself. Not just like, you know, that you kill someone, but the eat, the food you eat, the rich foods. Because the rich foods is like kings and queens, you know, uh, this gout. In old days there was an illness, gout, mainly to the kings and queens. Yeah. Not the poor peasants. Peasants were eating like, you know, rough chapatis or rough some bread and some uh, barley or something, some vegetables. The kings and queens uh, were eating rich, uh, refined uh, meat and fish and this, uh, creams. Now everyone eats kings and queens diet. Everyone. Most people, uh, like 90% people eat kings and queens diet. And uh, you will get all these things, you know, even gout. I know some, uh, you know, you know, some friends, you know, they vegetarians but eat very rich food which means uh, and rich food it means high in calories high uh, this uh, I would suggest you take photo this uh, chart is very very good it's uh, the food calorie uh, chart so you can see the oil is 4,000 calories per pound it's pure fat it's the most refined food on the planet you know even meat is healthier in comparison to oil and people talk about olive oil and this oil that canola whatever oil you know it's completely processed it's just a pure fat there is no nutrients no value inside at all if you want uh, some more fat you eat uh, coconut you can make uh, another time we can i will show you how to make lovely uh, chutney or like a sort of uh, like a saucy uh, thing with vegetables you can eat i'll show you how to cut it because sometimes people know how what you what what i do it's hard and very easy you know if you see how to do it uh, very very nice and very tasty so the main thing what uh, you need to put in your body is the foods which are in the green uh, side of the chart which is uh, non-starchy vegetables uh, fruits and then the main thing is really uh, legumes, beans, legumes and uh, starchy vegetables like potatoes, sweet potatoes uh, and, and all like Actually, if you just wanted to improve your health, people say potatoes, uh, you know, make you fat or potatoes make you unhealthy. The potato is the best health food on this planet. If you only eat potatoes, you will be really healthy. There was one man who did uh, in Australia, he was very big, unhealthy, depressed, a big businessman, but he was really un unhealthy. So he decided to go on the potato only diet for one year. He researched, he looked because there is Dr. John McDougall who uh, speaks a lot about uh, starch based diet because uh, people used to eat thousands of years. We all, you know, used to eat uh, in China rice and in uh, South America, most people were uh, pot hundreds of varieties of potatoes. Here in Europe, uh, maybe more, more bread and uh, barley and also, you know, now lots of also vegetables, potatoes. And he went for one year on potatoes only, with a little bit of some ketchup, so, so you can, can uh, get it down. <laughs> but he got very, very healthy. His blood and everything was improving. Every few months he did blood tests, all correct, cholesterol, all these uh, parameters were uh, improving. So he became really good. And when people were having scurvy on ships, potato, the high, very high in vitamin C, actually you can live only on potatoes. You don't need anything else. Just eat potatoes and you will be strong like a gladiator. But the problem is people will not eat just potatoes. I know uh, if you just tell them eat this only, then they will try and they say, well, not nice, not tasty. So that's why the sauces is a crucial uh, ingredient to make this lifestyle very enjoyable. Because you can make uh, plant-based, whole food, plant-based food very enjoyable. Uh, if you make some nice uh, sauces and dressings and based uh, without all these uh, processed foods, especially oil, because oil is the biggest. And I tell you, you know, I've been in this Brahma Kumaris for like 32 years now. And I see we have, we are vegetarians as a, as a principle. We all, we don't eat meat, fish, eggs. 
Uh, but uh, people eat dairy, some eat dairy, especially those from Indian background, and uh, they also use a lot of oil, especially those from Gujarat, you know, the state, state in India. They very, India is one of the unhealthiest Asian countries on the planet, one of the unhealthiest. There are very lots of vegetarians, although now it's changing because lots of meat as well, they eat uh, all these fast foods, but everything is fried. They fry everything deep fry, which, which was not the case 100, 200, 300 years ago. And even dairy, dairy in Ayurveda, if you understand the ancient medicine of India, milk was only used like a medicine, not like something you gobble down, uh, you know, gallons and make, you know, drinks. Uh, it was never used like that. But now everywhere, everything is topsy-turvy, so it's, uh, things change and people... Uh, but the result is uh, that your bodies are not performing. You know, people are getting... India is very highest in diabetes. And again, it's because your, your body is not able to absorb the sugar. Yeah. That's why... Uh, that's another aspect about sugar. People blame sugar. You know, I went recently, uh, half a year, went to see my family. And my sister said, oh, no sugar. You shouldn't touch sugar. It's a... Death, it's white death. Yeah, there are all these books written about sugar. I'm not saying that sugar is a health food, but it's innocent in comparison to oil and fats and all these unhealthy processed foods. It's innocent. There was Dr. Walter Kempner who uh, escaped uh, Nazi Germany after, during the Second World War and he uh, went to US. He's doctor. I mean, now he's passed away. He used to treat people who were left for dying. The conventional medicine had no chance to help them anymore. And mainly they were people with kidney disease. Uh, very, very difficult to treat. Very difficult. I even know some of my friends who have kidney problems. But you really need to understand that the body is a big ecosystem. It's one big mechanism. So what he was using, he had, uh, it's, uh, I mean, known, he's known like for a rice diet. The main thing how he was treating people were taking off all these sort of uh, processed things and just treating them with white rice, fruit juices and white sugar. You will think it doesn't uh, you know, sound good, but he, he knew what he was doing. If you read the book, you will understand the details of what actually uh, what's happening if you understand the dynamics of the body because it's not the carbohydrates which is uh, harming you it's actually the fat which blocks all your you know we have inside the blood vessels we have endothelium uh, blood cell lining in a healthy body this uh, blood vessel lining would uh, cover eight tennis courts you know, we think we are small, you know, but actually if you take everything out and put it flat, uh, you, you have blood vessels hundreds of miles inside, you know. I'm only 178, but I got hundreds of miles, these blood vessels inside, all of us. But now when you eat wrong foods, uh, high fat, high uh, animal foods, uh, processed foods, this lining gets uh, damaged. And in our age, probably we might, uh, in, you might only have uh, one tennis court left. And the problem is that uh, you get lined with this plaque, all your blood linings, and, and your body is not able to absorb the sugar. You're not able to absorb the sugar. That's why you have diabetes. That's why you have lots of these uh, modern diseases. Stop. Uh, What's the plaque made from? Well, it's all this sort of uh, ganj. Uh, the oil, it's from the oil. Yeah, from this high fat, high, high. Uh, you know, if you there was one even some uh, one film where they showed three uh, um, young sports people. They said we do experiment with you, so they gave burritos just to show how quickly uh, you get affected. Because, you know, we put in all these things thinking it's good for you, but actually if you saw through a glass, if your body was like glass and you could see what's inside you, you would be shocked. So they gave, one had a, uh, this uh, chicken burrito, one had a beef burrito, 
and uh, the third one was given this gladiator burrito with beans and uh, like beans, uh, kankini beans like this. After one hour of a meal or, or two hours after the meal, they took the blood from all three of them. And then when they, uh, I think they put in cent centrifuge and sort of show the, the blood, how it looks, the ones who had chicken and, and uh, beef, they had half of that uh, uh, capsule was of fat, pure fat, yellow, uh, gungy sort of stuff at the top of the, and the one who had beans was all just blood, clean, clean stuff. So uh, that's why people have no clue. You know, there was one uh, BBC um, uh, documentary about food, and it was very interesting because uh, they were researching and looking at all kinds of which is the healthiest diet. And there was one, I uh, forgot the name of this uh, BBC, uh, very well-known lady in UK, Fino News. Yeah, so she was a uh, part of this. So she was like uh, nice and sort of looks like slim and sort of... Uh, you know, good, good maintained uh, body. She went into CT scan. She was shocked when they showed the results. She had internal organ fat. The internal organs had a lot of fat. The body was slim, but inside the organs had a lot of fat. So, so you know, don't, uh, you know, I know people who are quite slim have had heart attacks and strokes. So you don't have to be actually uh, big in body to be actually full with fat inside. And that will make you sluggish. Uh, your, your mind will not operate properly. You will be always uh, tired. So you stop uh, eating this uh, type of food and try these sauces with just vegetables, uh, some grains, beans. Try it for two weeks. You know, I asked my mom. My mom has quite high uh, sugar. Uh, and a few years ago, uh, I pleaded, I said, mom, please try for 10 days, just uh, eat uh, vegetables, fruits, potatoes, some beans, lentils. She did it for one month and she stopped taking any of uh, these diabetic uh, tablets and her sugar went normal. She was uh, quite uh, surprised herself. She was surprised. She didn't, she, uh, she didn't tell the doctor uh, that she stopped uh, the tablets. I think because sometimes you know the medicine you have to be careful what you're saying if you if you say you are eating just vegetables and fr fruits they say well that's really extreme that's extreme now when people go under this scalpel and cut uh, you know half of their body and connect uh, uh, arteries from bypass uh, that's uh, not uh, extreme <laughs> but to eat potatoes with some uh, nice vegetables, the people think it's extreme. So, so it, 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 it's, uh, sometimes if you think about these things, it just it puts it, things in a different perspective. But it's your body, you know, it's not uh, my body. We, we, each one has to think about your body and how, how you feel in your body. But everything is possible. That's why I was saying at the beginning, there is ingenious mechanism in the body to keep this body in an extremely healthy uh, way. It's inside us. It's inside us. If you put the right uh, fuel inside. And so what I want to show today is uh, two sauces. They are very, very nice. Uh, one is made with the red beetroot. And the other one is made with uh, uh, Ramiro, red Ramiro peppers. Uh, this this type of these are actually from Jersey. They're one of the best. You know now is the pepper season. Uh, J the Jersey vegetables are really nice uh, because we get uh, from a wholesale uh, place in Brighton uh, the vegetables del delivered, and they uh, have uh, in summer Jersey produce come in, and so it's really uh, very very one of the best. So you can use any other peppers, but this sauce I called it Sanyasi sauce. In India, there are uh, saints in yellow or bright uh, orange uh, robes. You know, they walk around, you might have heard. So when you make this sauce, although they are red in color when they are raw and uh, uncooked, but when you make it and blend it, it becomes bright uh, orange. So it's, uh, and the color is amazing. When you eat food with bright colors, you know, 
you will feel you know they say it's good to have food with different colors like rainbow colors because that you, f you don't need to think what uh, nutrients these vitamins just eat different foods different colors you will have everything you need in the body you don't need to think uh, about anything the only thing which i suggest you take maybe is b12 vitamin but that's uh, nothing to do with vegan vegetarian everyone is depleted of b12 because b12 originates in soil and because the soil is now so depleted with chemicals and the way it's being treated, uh, there is uh, no more B12. Even they inject cows and animals with B12. You know, it's not to do with the eating meat or not eating meat. Everyone is depleted of B12. So you, you better take B12 because that's one of the supplements uh, it's suggested that everyone takes. And it's not stored in the body. Because most people just look at, you know, big actors, big uh, presidents. Many of these people are des uh, depressed and miserable behind the scenes. Many commit suicide because they are not really who they are in reality. So if you want to be free, just be you. And uh, so I've got this 10 minute meditation, which is a little bit like these affirmations, which we can listen over and actually that's one of the things how you can change your subconscious uh, makeup is by listening something which you can record yourself or if you find some of these type of uh, talks or recordings which gives the feed feed to your subconscious because our subconscious is constantly listening we are constantly listening whatever every single thing we are uh, we are seeing and registering and so if you consciously feed your mind and also your subconscious with the thoughts you want to, what you want to be, that eventually will change the programs which are inside uh, are running your life and the behaviors and, 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 and happenings around you which you don't want. And uh, we all have some things you don't like uh, the way they are in your life. Maybe relationships are uh, not very smooth with some people. Maybe you don't have enough abundance or maybe you have uh, some health issues. All these things are stemming from our subconscious, uh, this uh, iceberg underneath, the programs which are uh, put inside there. But we can change them. That's the most marvelous, miraculous thing that we as humans, we can change our environment by changing our subconscious uh, programs. And so if we, and, and the meditation is one of the things which is the most crucial in this aspect, because you can only change your subconscious uh, uh, frequencies and vibrations if you are in a deep, relaxed uh, state of mind. Uh, the frequency of alpha, alpha state, that's when we grow up, when we get programmed as little children, we are in, our brain waves are quite uh, receptive this alpha state uh, frequency. When we grow up, our frequency is very fast. The brain frequency, most humans uh, in American Indian uh, culture, they say uh, adults are like walking dead, which means you cannot influence anything in the metaphysical uh, world, which is beyond the physical. Although the physical is also not physical, it looks like physical. You know, now we know that this is uh, looks like physical, but it's actually empty space, 99.99. There is a, it's, it looks physical, but this is nothing is physical. Yeah, that's a, another subject. If you start seeing how uh, everything is uh, just uh, energy, everything is made out of energy. And so, so this state of uh, relaxed state, med meditative state is uh, when you then suggest something to your mind, that's when it will uh, penetrate more into your deeper uh, layers of your consciousness. And also you can do it when you go to bed, if you play some track like that, uh, when you fall asleep, uh, it will also more penetrate and influence your programs. Uh, or when you wake up first thing, like 20 minutes, half an hour when you wake up, if you think something, meditate and think about what you want in life, it will also go in and become part of your uh, life. You will see how things will be changing. It, it will look like a magic, but if you understand the the mechanism behind, it's not magic, but it looks like magic if you don't understand. 
you know, it looks like a rabbit comes out of the hat because uh, you know it wasn't there. But it actually, uh, you will understand how how this, uh, and that's where you become creator of your life. You start creating, you know, you put uh, seeds you want in life and you start seeing how these different new plants and flowers in my life start uh, coming out. But be very patient. Sometimes we get so impatient and we go every day, we go dig out the seeds and look at the seeds. But the seed is not going to grow if you all the time open it up and uh, look at the seed. You need to sow the seeds and just give this uh, love and patience and, and, and just be yourself. And, life will be miraculously beautiful. It's, you know, for young people, this is something uh, really for, I see so much young people are suffering by not understanding the simple secrets and laws in this uh, life. You know, people are, uh, you know, it's like law of gravity. You jump off the white cliffs in Dover, you will fall down. You're not going to fly up in the, with clouds. But people, the same way the, the way our life is, it's, there are some certain laws which are governing why things are the way they are. So you have to throw the boomerang, the one, the one you want, because you get it back what you want. If you throw what you don't want, then you get what you don't want. And uh, the, the biggest, again, issue is people do not think. We have the ability to think. But only 2% of people think, 3% think that they think, and 95% of people would rather die than think. It's a paradox, but that's uh, what it is. It's, uh, we've got this ability, this big, big brain, big head, and we have to use it for our benefit, to put the, to put the stakes of our life in our favor, not to be a victim of, uh, you know, this... Uh, uh, ability of uh, thinking and thinking that's again you know this uh, uh, to feed your mind of what you want because everything is energy and you know, every energy follows thought whatever you think is happening in your world around you but the more you think what you don't want and mostly the things which you don't want come from your subconsciousness feeding your mind like uh, on autopilot like this uh, aeroplane without uh, pilot it just comes, you know, pilot is at home enjoying himself and the, you, the people are just scared, they're flying. You don't know even where the plane is going. Uh, but the more you start being the master of uh, your aeroplane of your life, you will see how you will be enjoying and going to the destinations you want. And you will be the star, superstar, superwoman, superman, superhuman. You know, not just in these uh, uh, movies, children's movies. You will be real superwoman in your life. You, you, me, you, everyone. You know, so thank you for coming. And uh, if you want, uh, it will be maybe next uh, month uh, in four weeks time. We have some other recipes and uh, we can sit maybe if, if you have time for 10 minutes uh, just uh, to have a little meditation together. And then we can taste these uh, nice sauces. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.